Today we're going to learn how to make a repeat pattern using Canva that you can use to upload to Spoonflower to create your own fabric. First what you want to do is go to Canva and create a new design. Enter custom dimensions and you're going to enter 1200 by 1200 pixels. The next thing you want to do is upload any graphics that you've created for your pattern. Just click on upload an image or video and then you can upload your graphics. For mine, I'm going to be making a Christmas pattern. So I've created these Christmas watercolors that I've scanned into Photoshop and cleaned and made into individual PNG files. The first thing you do is place a graphic on your artboard, hold down command, and resize it until you have it the size that you want. Then you're going to place the graphic in the left hand corner until it snaps into place. You can see that purple line then make sure that it snaps into place at the top with the purple line as well. So that shows that it's perfectly centered. It's really important in making a repeat pattern to have everything perfectly aligned or else it won't repeat seamlessly. Hold down Option Shift and click your graphic and drag it over to the other corner. Again, make sure that it snaps with that line. Do the same thing and drag it down to the other corner, making sure that it snaps in the center. This will give you a perfect repeat. Continue to add graphics resizing them using the command button to constrain proportions. Again, make sure that it's snapped exactly into the center with that purple line. Drag it down holding Option Shift. Make sure that it completely snaps into place as well. Oh, looks like we forgot to copy it. <laughs> Just continue to add graphics and make sure that anywhere on the artboard that it goes off the left or right edge or the top or bottom that it snaps seamlessly into place. Otherwise you won't have a perfect repeat pattern. So once you have all of your edges repeating, then you can continue to fill in the center. Continue to fill in your pattern until you're happy with how all of the elements are placed. One thing that you can do as well, if you don't want the graphics on the edges to be exactly in the center, is once you've placed them exactly in the center, you can hold down shift and select both of them. And that way you can move them both at the same time. So then this way they don't have to stay exactly in the center, but they always are seamlessly repeating. Once you're happy with your design, click download. PNG is fine. It will save a copy of your design. Go to spoonflower.com and click on design and sell, upload your design. Choose files, and then choose from your downloads, your repeat pattern. Confirm the copyright, upload your files. Once your design has uploaded, go to test swatch, which is eight by eight, which is the size that we made our document. Click on smaller to set it the accurate size, then click save this layout. You can see how the pattern perfectly repeats along all of the edges and the top and bottom. Go ahead and test the other sizes, the fat quarter and the yards. If you want your pattern to be bigger, you can change the DPI and make it bigger. Or if you want it to be smaller, you can make it smaller. It just depends on how big you want it. When you're happy with that, you can make your design public. You can also enter it in design challenges. Now, if you don't have graphics that you've made yourself, you can always use elements in Canva. You just want to be sure to use the elements only because the graphics are copyrighted. So if you want to make a pattern like this with hearts, create a new design, Again, with the dimensions of 1200 by 1200, go to elements, see all the shapes, place a heart. You can resize it holding command, place it in the corners, make sure that it snaps seamlessly. Go ahead and repeat it with option shift. Hold down shift and select the other heart, drag it down. And then just continue to fill in hearts. Again, holding Option will make a copy of your hearts. Anywhere that it crosses the top or bottom or sides, you want to make sure that it snaps to the point so you can repeat it seamlessly. Then you can go ahead and select it and drag it down if you don't want it to be exactly centered. As long as you drag them together, it will always stay seamless. But make sure that you start by having it exactly centered, then you can move it around. So continue to fill it in with hearts and then go ahead and start changing the colors. You can make it nice and playful with some rainbow colors. 
just make sure that anywhere that it repeats, it's the same so that it will be seamless. So once you're happy with that design, again, just download and do the same thing we did with the other pattern. Once you've completed your heart pattern, go ahead and upload it to Spoonflower like we did with the other one. Test the swatches to make sure it's the right size and make it public. Now you can go to your design library and check out the patterns that you've just made. Go ahead and save it to Pinterest so that other people can find it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to click the like button and subscribe for more design and art tutorials.